Legit, two thirds of our mushrooms are gone, guys. This is a scam. This is it. Hello, guys. Uh, we are here today and out in the forest and we are going to be picking some mushrooms. I'm actually really excited, it's going to be awesome and we'll see if we can find any. We're specifically looking for chanterelles. This is apparently Olaf's grandpa's special place. So let's see if we can find any. Oh. Okay. A swamp? Oh, herregud. Var? Oh, a swamp! Läcka, inte äta sopen. What kind of mushroom is this? I don't know. Is that one of the butter butter stop? I don't know. Maybe. I pulled it. I don't know if this is how you do it. Is this how you do it? This one kind of has the color of a chanterelle, but I don't think this is a freaking chanterelle, guys. I'm not gonna pick those. Nope. It's kind of beautiful here, though. We found like four mushrooms so far. Look. I think these are it. Oh, but that one's moldy. Shit. What about this one? Doesn't look great. This do doesn't look great. What if we're too late? Come on, focus. Okay, you know what? I don't care. How do you know if they're poisonous, guys? Are you poisonous? Are you poisonous? I don't know. Alaska keeps pulling me. That's why I go. Alaska, hey, 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 hey. Okay, so here's the question. Are these freaking, no, 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 no. No, dog, go away. Are these chanterelles? I don't think they are. Are they? That one looks a bit wigglier like a chanterelle does, but that one, maybe. But maybe. Oh, look, blueberries. Blueberries. Oh, and I saw, <gasps> what are these called? Lingon. Lingonberries or something. Okay, so we've talked to like a bunch of relatives and shit, and we don't think that the ones we found are chanterelles. So mission, keep finding the chanterelle or keep. We didn't even do it in the first place. Just find it. Freaking find it somewhere. Tris is on a roll over there. Tris, come. Look at that ant home, whatever it's called. Ant house, ant farm. <laughs> Holy shit! Look at this mushroom. This is huge. This is like, I think this is a uh, one of those edibles. Butter sop. Look at this motherfucker. Like. <laughs> It's huge. I don't know what someone's done to it though, but we have like not found any real chanterelles. I think we have found fake chanterelles, we believe. We're not sure. And it's like a weak harvest. <laughs> okay, so we think we found them because they're supposed to be a bit more like meaty and like more mushroom flesh in them. <laughs> Stronger, firmer. Anyway, so we think we found them, but these are like so small. Maybe we're actually a bit too early. Look at that, look at that. Look, there's plenty here, but they're like tiny, 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 and over there as well. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> Move, doggo. Look at this badass. It's huge. I think it's one of those smursop. I think this is edible. I'm not sure, it's so huge. It looks a bit scary, but I do think it's edible. <laughs> Let's bring it home. Oh my god, I think we found a spot. I mean, it's super minor, but like they're much fleshier. You can see it instantly and they grow more in like bunches and like little groups. I think this is it. Yeah, oh my god, they're so meaty. They're so meaty compared. Wow, this is exactly what chanterelles is supposed to look like. Oh my god, we did it. Guys, we fucking did it. We fucking did it. Oh, poor champ. Okay. This is like the perfect chanterelle. This is it guys, this is it. Okay, so we've found like a bunch of different. We found some like weaker. Uh, we struggled a lot with knowing what we were actually picking, you know, like were they chanterelles, were they something else? There's something that's like a less, I guess we can call them fake chanterelles. They are chanterelles, but uh, they're not as tasty and they're a bit more chewy, etc. So it's not really what you're looking. Uh, looking for when you're cooking. So we actually uh, got some information about if you squeeze them, they should not be hollow. If they're hollow, they're fake chanterelles. These are much sturdier. They, they weigh so much more than a fake chanterelle. And like, I don't know, when you see them, you'll know, basically. And we did. When we saw them, we were like, oh, oh, this is it. This is it. Poor champ. Such a beautiful day for this. It's very hilly as well. Look who's enjoying it. Look at her, look at her, look at her, look at her. <laughs> Got this! Ah! 
All right, so Alaska just met a dog. Super happy. Anyway, uh, we're actually heading back now, and uh, we feel like we've kind of found everything that we can find. It was an immense amount. Uh, wasn't was not an immense amount, but um, I'm at least happy that we got some. I'll show you once we get home, like the little pile. <laughs> we gotta clean them and everything as well. Um, I honestly think that there's been too many people in the area uh, picking mushrooms before us, so that's probably why they're gone, most of them. Uh, but it's gonna be interesting to see what we get, or what we got. Pog! All right. So now we are at home and we got to go through the mushrooms that we have found. We don't know. This is our first time. So, you know, we'll probably be doing a crap load of things wrong. And we don't wrong. have the right tools. And we don't have the right tools. Exactly. But we do have wine. We do have mushrooms. And we're going to just, you know, I don't even know what it's called in English. I'm not going to go ahead and try and guess that. But uh, yeah, this is a stash of uh, chanterelles that we got. Didn't end up... Uh, that much, but you know, there's a few. Look at this one. I'm so happy with this. It's so perfect. It's the perfect chanterelle. All right, let's clean them. All right, so all the chanterelle has now been um, cleaned or whatever you call it, and it didn't turn out to be that much, but I'm honestly happy. I mean, this is gonna be enough to make like a soup or something, so. For a first time, I am very pleased with their salt, and also, I mean, this one. I'm just in love with this one. So freaking good. Oh, God like. All right, so now the next step is gonna be to boil these uh, guys in like their own water. Basically what that means is essentially frying them and there's water inside of them and it's gonna simmer out and once the water's gone, that's when you put them in like plastic bags and freeze them or something like that, I don't know. And I'll use them for a soup or something later. But yes, that is the idea. That way they stay fresh for much longer and I can use them whenever I want to later on. Okay, so this is what you do apparently and now like, Legit, two thirds of our mushrooms are gone, guys. This is a scam. Can we just skip this step? This is it. They're all like, there's no more water coming out of them and they're getting dry. So now we're just gonna bag them and they're ready to be used. Sometime in the future, maybe in a cooking stream. Wouldn't we like that? Yes, we would. We would love that very much. Uh-huh. This is what I ended up with. It's 140 grams. I weighed it on the scale. I hope it's enough to make soup. All right, we've not now done the same thing with the other mushroom, which is supposed to be called smur soup. I have no idea what the English word is. It's supposed to be edible, you know, I have no idea. It smells okay, I guess, but we'll see. I'll make a soup or something and <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the no, this is not a stream, the video. Hope you enjoyed the video and ah! That was it. End of story. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Leave leave a like. That's half a heart. But leave the other heart as well. And yes. A comment maybe. Yes. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go now. Bye.